morning guys. It was Wednesday morning here. I got out of bed a little bit later than I intended to. I woke up when I wanted to, but something about waking up and checking Snapchat, checking Twitter, Instagram, has kept me in bed. So I'm glad to finally make it out of bed. Got a shake here that I made and I took a multivitamin. It's just a part of my morning routine now. It's keeping me healthy because it's actually finally getting colder around here. And by finally, I mean because the last vlog, I said that we had warm weather, much warmer than usual for Lynchburg around this time of year. So it's been on and off and just changes. That's the way it happens around here. You can't predict it. So anyway, a lot has happened since the last vlog. Just the last two days. I went to work yesterday for about an hour and I was gonna leave about half an hour after I actually did. So it was kind of funny. Nobody was there. It was completely barren. One other person was in my department. He left about 20 minutes before I did. Hardly anyone there. So I was gonna leave around 10. About half an hour before that, I got a call from one of the managers at Macy's asking if I would be able to go in. It's like, sure, uh, I guess so, what time? They just said, whenever you can get there. I'm like, okay, until what? And they said six. I'm like, all right. So I showed up there around 10.30. But I was there 10.30 to six in one of the departments that I've mentioned already. It was like a hectic day in a not bad way. Kind of weird to explain it like that, but it was like a day of returns where it was like everybody that had gotten something from Macy's for Christmas, especially those who were gifted it, brought it back because someone got it for them in the wrong size. And I didn't say this, I'm like, this is why you have to put a lot of thought into what you're getting someone. Now, I got clothing for my family for Christmas. The only things I got were accessories, you know, gloves, scarves. The guys in the family that I bought things for got scarves. But it's not like they didn't wear them. They didn't wear them because they didn't have them, not because they didn't want them. But being that we're coming up on the cold stuff, I'm like, you guys need to get some protection for this area. But I also got hats for my Nana because my great-grandparents lived in Florida like most of their lives. And they're in their 90s now and I'm like, you need protection when you're going out there, trust me. So when I was at Macy's yesterday, it was just so much merchandise was returned. Some old lady was flirting with me at one point and I didn't really pick up on it until the very end of the transaction when she mentioned like the fact that she likes it when younger guys have, I guess, the dignity of dressing up because I always wear a suit to Macy's. I've only ever gone to one shift without the suit just because I didn't feel like it and I didn't have the time. But after the transaction, my coworker that was right behind me and the two customers that she was dealing with or laughing and stuff. She's like, you need to be rewarded for the patience because this lady apparently is a regular customer and always takes a while. And so I was just like, I don't know. We weren't busy in my area. So I was like, we have time. I can do this. It was just kind of funny. And then I found out I'm finally able to pick up shifts. So that's a good thing. I'll talk more about this later because this is already like just kind of rambling on here. I'm going to go and pick this up a little bit later after I clean up and shower and trim this up a little bit. Hey, so I'm about to go meet up with my family in my mom's house. Jason and Jonathan already took off. I was just finishing up some things on here. We're gonna go and head at the gym. It's kind of unconventional for us to go to the gym on a Wednesday, but we're just filling it out. I'll probably go again tomorrow, but I just wanted to stop by and say hi to you guys. I think I still had a story to tell you guys a little bit later when I have a little bit more time, because right now I'm in a bit of a rush to get over there. I have a few things to do later tonight, including tell you guys a story, and then I will see you then. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Uh, so, I got home from the gym a little while ago. Sorry, just talking to somebody over there. Um, <clears throat> so, it was, it was good. It was very impromptu, um, just an arm session. Uh, and I was just drinking some BCAAs. It's a new thing for me. I'm out of my sleeping Mickey cup. They're just basically amino acids that help you to endure through the workout more than you would without them. It also helps you recover better. So I feel pretty great when I would usually feel really sore. After a hard workout, I feel great. Not nearly as sore as I would usually be. Probably because I would also... Sorry, I just got a little text too. You guys probably just heard that. I did the shake, I did the BCAAs, kind of a tangy watermelon flavor. It's a big dose of vitamin D, like 125% of your daily value. I get a lot more nutrients than usually people would on their daily value. I get like a ton more vitamins in me and lots more nutrients because I build my body. I work on my body a lot. Basically, it was just a fun little gym session. We just decided to go because um, we got pretty much everything else done in the day. I mean, I still have some stuff to do, but we went and to see my mom and everything. Not that we don't get to see her very often. It was just unplanned. It was fun. And now I'm here and I'm going to edit the vlog and have a schedule in the morning. We're going to go to the gym again tomorrow morning because it's going to be New Year's Eve. I don't have work in the morning, but I know I kept on saying that there was like a little story. I'm going to keep it short for now because there's still a lot of details surrounding it that are not set in stone. But basically, we're 
we're looking at a possible closing of the Gold's Gym that we go to. Which is really sad, but um, it's almost inevitable unless someone buys it. I know details and stuff, but I'm not going to say them all right now because I don't know how many people watch or will watch this particular vlog. Because I know that there's more than one person that, that will watch this. And I'm not saying like if anyone in particular does, I'm just saying because people and trust people, me included, that certain details won't be shared and so I want to keep my word and keep trust and stuff. It's just kind of sad, you know, like it's a gym that I've gone to for over a year now and when you go anywhere for more than a year, you build kind of a trust, kind of a relationship with not only the place but with the people that go there and the people that work there and I've done that over a year and two months now that I think I've gone now. So you know, I've been just asking people, so where are you going to go if, if this place actually does close down? And there aren't a lot of good options here because it's Lynchburg, uh, so we don't have a lot of great options for working out and staying in shape. And I mean, like, you can stay in shape without going to a gym, but using the free weights is kind of scarce around here because uh, it's not a very big bodybuilding community at all. And that's not to say that it should be discouraged, but it's also more than just going to work on your body. It's also a de-stressor for many people. In fact, I would say at least half of the people that go there go there for mostly just to de-stress. Keeping your body up in shape and everything is a big part of it, but I know, I know several people that go there that go there simply just to relieve stress so that they don't take it out on people, you know, they can take it out on the iron, which is a wonderful thing. Everyone that goes there is so nice, too, so I'm just gonna hope and pray that someone comes and buys it and it's up for a wonderful price. It's a steal, honestly, but that's all I'm gonna say about that, because I'm gonna go to bed probably soon after I finish editing and publishing this thing, and after I eat, so I do have a few things left to do, but I'm gonna get this out for you guys, because you guys who watch are awesome, and I really appreciate everyone who watches my vlogs and keeps up with me and everything and asks questions. Ask me questions, I don't, I don't mind. I will certainly always be here to interact with you guys, because I, I love doing that. I love, I love people, so again, thank you guys for everyone who watches. I will catch you guys later. I hope everyone has a great night and a great New Year's Eve. Next time you see me, it'll be on my New Year's Day. Good night.